Noelle Harris. Uh, I'm best known for Charlie and Haspen Hotel. Noelle Silva in Black Clover, Mandalay and My Hero Academia. Uh, and more recently, Yuzriha in Hell's Paradise and Suleta in Gundam. So you're a voice actress in anime and video games, but you're also a writer. And uh, can you can you tell us about this uh, this visual novel you wrote called uh, Corona? Uh, let me make sure that uh, Corona Borealis. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, deep cut. Uh, yeah. I, and I do want to say I named the game before the the, the pandemic. Before. Uh, so yeah, it's unfortunate naming convention there. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, I started writing that game uh, in high school and uh, kind of while I was in college, finished up the script. Uh, and it took me a couple of years to, uh, you know, hire artists and, and get everything together. Um, but uh, yeah, I started voice acting online and there were a lot of folks who... Uh, in addition to booking stuff, would create stuff and then be in it. And so I just, I don't know, it was a creative part of the community. Um, I still have a lot of love towards the visual novel community, especially the English visual novel community. Uh, that's where a lot of my first voice acting roles came from. Yeah. That's where my first paid gig came from uh, and how I met uh the first director who ever cast me at Funimation, I met through the boy, uh, the visual novel community. So it's it's very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so so how uh, can people get that? Um, it is on Steam. Uh, it was put out by Winter Wolves Games. Sweet. So um, I saw the trailer. Has been hotel, <laughs> and I, I got I got Disney vibes. Is is that is that really you singing? It is not. Oh. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. Like like I mean, it, it could be. I had to ask, but I'm just like, it's like they usually get that. But um um, now can you tell us what 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 this uh, this show is is about when when it's when it's coming out? Uh, yeah, so the first season is airing in January. Uh, season two has already been confirmed. Uh, it is about uh, it is about Satan's literal daughter, uh, and hell has become overpopulated, and so she wants to rehabilitate sinners. Uh, turn them into good people so that they can go to heaven and fix the overcrowding problem in hell. Uh, it's a very fun concept. Uh, it's got it's got Disney vibes, but also like Broadway vibes, uh, and then a lot of dark humor that's not going to be in a Disney movie. So uh, it's very cool, very fun. So how did how did this uh, this project come about? Uh, so Haspen Hotel was uh, a passion project of Vivian Madrano, uh, also known as Viv Z Pop. Uh, and yeah, uh, all of us at first were working for free, just just for the love of animation. Uh, and then the pilot released on uh, YouTube and oh my God, it's like up to 80 million views now or something. And so, um, but yeah, all of us just volunteered and we had no idea it was going to turn into this big whole thing and and uh it's it's really changed my life that project uh, the fangirl moments like <laughs> like uh do you have any fangirl moments that stands out to you while, while you've been in the business yes um it it is strange because you know, I grew up watching anime, and these actors that I, I really looked up to and admired are now just my co-workers. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm working as an assistant director right now, and uh, my head director is Jerry Jewell. Jerry Jewell was the lead in the first anime I ever watched, uh, which was Kodocha. And I was also a really big fan of Fruits Basket, and Jerry Jewell plays Kyo in that. Um, and so, yeah, I've, Jerry's now my boss, and that's strange to think about. Uh, and then also, uh, I, I love Laura Bailey, uh, who plays Toru in Fruits Basket. 
and uh, I had the honor of spoilers playing their granddaughter in the recent series. Um, so I've I love Laura Bailey's voice. I love Jerry Jewell, obviously. Fruits Basket was one of the first animes I ever watched. Never thought I would be involved. Never thought I would play the main couple's granddaughter. So that's just really cool. Love it, love it. So we're, for his, um, your voice, Noel in Black Clover, and fellow Black Clover co-stars Chris George as the narrator in Dallas Reed, who voices Sasa, mm -hmm. is also in attendance. So, do you have a, a panel scheduled together? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, I believe it is at 11 a.m. Okay. Is, is, is this the, is specifically the Dark Clover? Uh, I think it's, black yeah, Clover? a Black Clover oh. panel. Yes. And it's it's going to be very cool. It's the first time we've done a panel with the director, Chris George. So, we're really excited for that. This is the first con we've done with Chris George. So, that's going to be really cool. Sweet. Okay. Um, is this your first time here at AWA? Um, strangely, uh, no, I attended like 10 years ago as a, as right, a okay. fan, as an attendee, right. so, uh, but yeah, this is my first time guesting here. So what are you, what are you looking, it's a, it's, it's a little different, but you're still like, like, what are you, what are you looking forward to, uh, here at AWA? Um, well, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, Really, it's like three or four hours from where my folks live, and so I kind of feel like I'm home. It's pretty close to home, um, and yeah, just loving loving the southern accents, like a Texas accent. That's fine, sure, but like I, I'm loving this. Uh, I just I just feel like at home, um, and this is I think maybe the biggest con I've ever done. It's it's a little intimidating, but. Um, I've I've already met several people and everybody's been so kind. So, uh, and I, I even had the chance to like walk the floor and buy some stuff. So I I love to shop. Uh, <laughs> it, it it's just a very cool, very diverse con, which is nice. Love it, love it. I it's, it's so funny. Like uh, so, as far as gaming, um, what would you say is your is your comfort game? Ooh, um, I mean. Animal Crossing. I'm that kind of girly. Uh, I recently started uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and that has been a lot of fun. Um, but I'm also like getting into like Red Dead Redemption too, and I played a little bit of Cyberpunk 2077, uh, and I want to replay it. I think because they released a patch that fixed a lot of bugs. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, my my partner built me a, a gaming computer <laughs> like six months ago as like a birthday present and uh so i've been getting my game on for sure Sweet. so uh with, with red dead i haven't had a chance to to play is there like i, I saw the the zombie is, is that a uh um a newer version of uh red dead zombie I I, i'm trying because I, I saw it on the net and it was i don't know if it was um like a, another level or you see fighting zombies or he became the undead there could be like some sort of side quest in there i know there's like a lot of stuff I... to discover in that game yeah um one thing that has been really special to me and i've i've been really appreciative is i like i came out as queer recently and um i voice suleta in the gundam universe who is queer and I've just, I've just had like a lot of love and support and that has been really special to me to have people be like, it's nice to see a gay woman, uh, in anime that's not like fetishized or something. And, uh, so any Gundam fans that come up to me is very special. Um, and just like the outpouring of love for has -Been Hotel, like I alluded to, I had no idea it was going to blow up to be that big. And now I've got like parents who are like, I watched Black Clover and now I'm showing my kids Black Clover and that's so special to me. And, you know, especially I was, uh, I, I was the opposite. I was the kid trying to show my parents anime, but it's, I really love when the family all gets together and enjoys anime. And I'm really glad that something that I was a part of uh, can be enjoyed by a whole family.